What's up tech fans, Kevin here on Tech of Tomorrow where we're covering all the biggest PC releases to come out this holiday season. And today we're taking a day one look at the most recent addition to one of the most profitable franchises ever made, we've been seeing regular releases every year for the past half a decade, Call of Duty Ghosts. Now this is coming from the same team that did Modern Warfare 3 and is supposed to be the first step in a new direction for the franchise, offering a new storyline, more dynamic maps, and the inclusion of the new Extinction mode, which is supposed to be Infinity Ward's answer to Treyarch's popular Zombies mode. So let's go ahead and take a look. So first off, not all PC games experience what you would call a perfect launch, as bugs and different optimization issues can come up, and Ghost is no exception to this. I myself had a ton of problems with screen stuttering at the start as you can see here, which does not make for a fun or balanced multiplayer experience. And after looking it up online real quick, a common fix for now, before patching, for those of you that are also having this problem, is to go into the task manager and change Ghost's process priority to normal rather than high. So once you've done that and the gameplay actually looks smooth, let's go ahead and take a look at some of our first impressions of what we've played so far. To begin with, the campaign starts a new storyline with a heavier emphasis on the main characters being more along the lines of guerrilla fighters and being the last few survivors, rather than part of a well-organized large army. The whole thing has got a really heavy Red Dawn vibe going to it. Just replace communist era Russia with an alternate history version of South America as the primary bad guy. The campaign also places a heavy emphasis on the dog being an important teammate, who you can direct to attack enemies during combat, or even assume direct control of during certain parts of the game. This dog, by the way, is some kind of insane mutant predator hybrid. It's practically a better and more efficient killing machine than any of your actual gun-wielding squad mates. Now as for multiplayer, I've only done a few matches so far, and not enough to really give you guys a proper full coverage of all the major changes that have happened, but one of the first things I've really noticed while playing is that killstreaks seem a lot easier to obtain more often. Character customization has also been changed a bit. Now players can customize multiple squad mates with their own starting and preferred loadouts. Part of the reason for this design is that the game now features a new mode called Squads, which basically has you take yourself and your whole team of characters into a match and face another player with their squad, which is controlled via AI. Ghosts heavily pushes this mode right off the bat, even going so far as to repeatedly recommend playing it a while before entering traditional multiplayer player, and makes for a good option for players new to the series a chance to mess around and experiment with different builds in a more forgiving environment. Now the last thing I want to touch on is the game's new Extinction Mode, a cooperative multiplayer mode in which players work together to destroy key points while fending off hordes of aliens. This mode uses a different character creation system than regular multiplayer, and allows players to assemble classes that emphasize different aspects of teamwork, like reviving teammates or just being tanky, and also allows you to choose from a couple different purchasable perks and match, like summoning a minigun or spawning ammo. This is really reminiscent of the Zombies mode traditionally in Treyarch-made Call of Duty games, in which players start off with barebone supplies and use money they gain killing aliens to purchase new guns or use special abilities, and you can also level up mid-match to improve how some of your class abilities and perks work. Now what I've played so far has just been a little bit of each mode, enough to get a feel for each one, but not enough to bring you guys a proper full review just yet. So once I've sunk enough time into Extinction and Multiplayer and have finished the campaign, I'll let you guys know my final thoughts and whether or not Ghosts has any significant changes to the current Call of Duty formula. Now if what you've seen is already enough to convince you to want to grab the game for yourself, check out the link in the description for pricing and availability. And while you're down there, make sure to smash that like button to let us know how you've been enjoying all this gaming content on Tech of Tomorrow. And if you're not a subscriber yet, make sure you become one because we've got a lot of great content on the way, including full reviews for a lot of the biggest holiday releases on PC. Till then, you've been watching Tech of Tomorrow, I'm Kevin and we'll see you later.